here and welcome in this video session where we're going to see how you can create your own branded mobile app which is available for both iOS and Android devices. In this short video we're going to see the most technical part of the process which is going to be to prepare your app for submission. We, we will need to go over to the store accounts, create a developer account and give access to LearnWorlds as we actually do the submission part for you. So if you'd like to see more information about the process Keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, we have now switched to the admin dashboard view just so that we can go through the previous process, the previous steps before we dive into the most technical part. So first off, navigate over to your mobile app builder. And then the first step is to customize your app where you can add your uh, colors, you can add your name and the icon, the splash screen, um, the onboarding slides you can um, select the sign in, the sign up logo, and you may even uh, localize and translate or rephrase the text of the mobile app. So that's the first step. Next step is where you have your app ready to go. Um, you can view all the steps that need to be resolved or not, and then it's time for you to test your own app. So as soon as you're done that, then comes the most technical part, which is to actually prepare your app for submission. Okay, so here, as you can see, there is two tabs regarding what app you are submitting for, the Play Store and the iOS. Now, this video is going to be for your iOS version of the app. And here is actually um, the prerequisites that we need for you to publish your app in the App Store. We're going to need an app developer account to grant access to a LearnWorlds developer account and to locate the information needed for setting up your app. So let's switch screens and see how you can do exactly that from the App Store layout. Before we do that, keep in mind that in order to create an app developer account, you will first need to create or have an Apple ID. To create an Apple ID, you must fill in your details and verify both your given email and phone number as well. So keep in mind that this may take some time for Apple to verify. Also, make sure to create an organization account as individual accounts will not allow us to publish and update your app. So as soon as you've created your Apple ID, it's time to create the developer account. Navigate to developer.apple.com slash program slash enroll and scroll all the way down and click on start your enrollment. Then sign in with your Apple ID and go over to this option and select company organization. Click on continue and next you'll need to fill your legal entity name and your DUNCE number. If you don't have one, please follow the instructions in the next section. Click on continue here, check out the pre-filled information and add the additional data and click on continue. Review and accept the legal information, the legal agreement and click on continue. The next step is to review your membership and continue with the purchase. That means that Apple actually does require a subscription in order for you to have a developer account. Now, um, Google has a one-time fee. You pay once and you have your developer account while Apple is a little bit different and instead you need to have a subscription for it. And here is where you pay for it. Right, so lastly, choose your payment option and enter your billing information. This may vary depending on your country and your location. So once you're ready, scroll down and click on continue. When you click on continue, your order summary will appear. Just scroll down to the bottom and click place order. Okay, so now that you've paid for your developer account, it's time to see how you can actually find the DUNS number, D-U-N-S. So for that, visit developer.apple.com slash enroll and DUNS lookup. Log in with your Apple ID account, choose your origin and fill in your business details and click on continue. If your organization already has the DUNS number, then you can just confirm it and have it sent to your email. However, if you don't have a DUNCE number, you will need to request one. To do so, check the boxes to allow Apple to send information to DUNCE and click on Submit. After submission, please allow for five days until your number is received. Keep in mind that the DUNCE authorization team may need to contact with you in case they require additional information. Okay, so the next step is to grant access to our LearnWorlds developer accounts. To do that, navigate to appstoreconnect.apple.com slash access slash users, and this is what you'll see. Click on the plus icon to add a user. Fill in this exact information. First name Alex, last name Panousis, and this needs to be the, the email. 
uh, check admin as a role and do not forget to also give access to certificates. And once you're ready, click on invite. So in this next steps, you'll need to gather some useful information that will allow us to perform updates and push releases to your app to ensure that everything is functioning perfectly without you needing to do anything else. So more specifically, in this section, we're going to need information and you will locate your Apple developer team ID and your team name. Those will be located right here for you. OK, so now you have all the needed information and it's time to get back to the LearnWorlds admin dashboard. So from here, you can fill in the team ID, the team name. Keep in mind that the app specific shared key will be added by our team and you do not need to add this option over here. Next up, choose your source language, add the copyright information, select the primary and secondary category for your app. Following, you can choose the translation of your applications list in different languages. These translations will apply if the user's store language is different than the default one. Next up, add the name and the subtitle of your app, add in the privacy URL link, that could be the link to your school page, add the full description of your app. Make sure that you go through this very thoroughly. Uh, this is an important step and uh, this will be reviewed by the store reviewer. So keep in mind that you should add uh, a true description of what your app offers. Next up, connect any keywords to your app. Add support URLs, marketing URLs, and promotional text if you want to. Moving on, you can fill in the content rating questionnaire. Please bear in mind that you should be very honest regarding your answers to these questions. If misclassified, an application may be removed from the App Store. These questions do not refer to the application itself, but more to the content of the courses that will be featured and accessed by the users. And lastly, a part of the standard review process from the App Store is to check the app's purpose. So type it in here. And that's it. Don't forget to hit save and you're ready to go and follow the next steps.